Sí me, sí me estoy escuchando. Are you listening to me? Do you hear me? Sí, me estoy escuchando ahí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ok, yo good. You can change it from your eh, computer. Si la pueden ir moviendo allá porque no tengo aquí. If you can move it from there. No la, no la iban a estar moviendo allá. Ah, me, me, me comenta Carolina que no se puede. Yo también había entendido que, que la íbamos a mover. Yes, I also thought that we could move it from there, but no. You have to move it from there. Well, we do it like that. Do a culture in Sonora. You can put it on your screen and you can change it. You can see it there? There. La aguacultura en Sonora representa una real alternativa. Ha crecido y ha sido el generador de several jobs. We have more 24 jobs, direct jobs. On indirect, we have more than 35,000 in rural areas that they are very far away with a lot of problems to get jobs. We are a referent on the state. We generate economy, we income with more than 5,000 millions, most of them on foreign monies for the exportation. And year with year, we have been able to increase and participate more and more in the economy of our state. We, on the state, we have uh, 26,500 hectares of the water uh, that they are in north, center, and south of the state from Bahia Quino or Tila Giavampo. The production data, I have them and I let you know, they are not, they are not the ones that they are of the whole year. This is to the last day of October. so. It's for you to have an idea. We produce 69,700 tons with a survival of 51%. A size of 20 grams, 20.3 grams, with 34 maternities. Now, uh, uh, we are over 68 tons. The survival we increase it to a 61%, and the average size increased to 21.20. So we expect this year that we'll be closing over 70 tons. At the end, uh, uh, this was in October, the numbers we will have them soon enough. One or two farms still finish the harvest the market. What we observing on the market, this year increased the market of uh, national market on the Sonora State. We were in 50-50 this year. Perhaps the exportation went 30 and national market 70 because the national market reacted the prices in this time very strongly. In this time, uh, national market that we haven't seen from a long, long time ago with a lot of needs and a lot of a strange on the big sizes that usually are for exportation. And what do we see? What has been happening? This uh, matter of the COVID, we have to understand that the market is changing. If we want to keep doing things as we were doing it, it's going to be very complicated. On the top, on the national level, we see that uh, it's been increasing. There are several factors but I'll tell you that due to the health, the price of the poultry, the chicken and the meat increases and that uh, uh, make people to eat more seafood and fishes and the prices. It has a strength, the product generated in the big demand, this price, this quality, there's data from the ANTAS 
that uh, lets us know that has increased the uh, consumption in the supermarket um, over 5%. And uh, the health topic and the market has increased. What's the consumption of the seafood? What do we see? We see, especially at Sonora, those of us who are very focused on observing the exportation market, we handle it 80 percent. We handle it up to 85, 90 of exportation, and then national. And this year, we want to be 80, 20. The thing is that the consumption in the U.S. because of the COVID has been completely different. The subject of uh, the food service, which was the main client, with all the closing of restaurants and market that happened, it made that the people focused on into in the consumption of stream with the supermarket consumption that did not exist in the US. And it's uh, the part that we have to take opportunity. To. We have to uh, open, because we open a market that with the food service is open, but the market that is being growing and it open on the supermarket, we have to take advantage and increase it. What do we need to do that? Well, there's a lot of work, a lot of work from certifications. We, need, we have to have certification in farms, in plants, and the marketing on all the line to be able to reach uh, with a better product to the supermarket where it has an additional value. For us, it's very important to reach that and fortify the local market. Mexico is a market with a strong consumption growing year with year, and we have to keep uh, follow the Ecuador. If uh, the free trade uh, agreement, if it's signed and include the Cameroon, that will be close, bring down. Uh, I think that the situation goes well on being able to leave the stream on the free trade but we will keep our finger pressed on it. So we have to see on the topic of the national market, how to fortify it and protect it that the other markets come that may destroy us. And abroad, we need to look for opportunities that they are being open on how to have a product where we can reach to, to the direct markets and not just the food service when we can have an overprice. That's what I'm saying here, the buyers, the miners, the retailers, they are being changed into sea products. In general, we can recognize that the stream is, uh, has been working very good to the, to the Mexican market. And last, here I show you about the effects of the COVID. Those are price uh, compared in November 2019 to the 2020 and the different on the prices we see with a 70 cent of difference below the one that has been more heated of the 2025 20, is a lot of money and the 2630 about 80 cents which are basically the one that we more export here what are we observing here is that from the second semester of uh, the next year, this start to increase. They are announcing the vaccine on the stay, and we believe that in the first semester, it will start to regularize for the second semester, being able to have the food service change open and increase those numbers. The actor that if China is gonna keep closing the market of Ecuador, etc. But there's plenty of space on the market where we differentiate on the Mexican strip, and that's what we have to take advantage of. Well, that is uh, our vision here at Sonora and what we are doing and what do we need to do? Well, we need to be very competitive. We need to decrease our prices. We need to find additional alternatives on the business and understand that we cannot do things as they were doing before because this change, the aquaculture and any other activity 
with the COVID, everything changed. Well, thank you. That's been my presentation. And here uh, we are to any question or remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting. The view presented on Sonora, the change on the market and how it's been reacted. It has been surprising that with more production, the Mexican market has absorbed those uh, productions, uh, the very good production that we have this year. So before going to the questions that they start to arrive, we are going to continue with the mechanic and our next speaker. And uh, we take the uh, questions at the end. No, Carlos Urias, let me introduce you, president of the Association of, of Confederation of the Sinaloa States, one of the main leaders on production on the states with a lot of uh, participation in different committees and associations, as well as all the three, uh, the, each one of them are leaders on the state. And it's very nice to hear what you can let us know. Good day, good day to the audience. But yes, I'm happy to be on this forum of Conaqua and share the perspective, the personal perspective, and as a representative of the aquaculture I have. And I'm going to begin with the presentation since the topic that we came is what the perspective of the aquaculture. I would like, first of all, put something that is the world uh, status right now. You can see how the aquaculture in the world is been developing more. You can see that the captures are constant and the possibility of captures and the average on captures, it won't be happening. The best effort that we can, that the people can do is to keep the current levels. Usually they decrease, but well administered, they may keep the levels of capture. And aquaculture is the one that has to supply the increment on the demand. The increment on the demand that comes on the demographic growth and then the change of uh, habits. As the previous expositor mentioned, well, each time eat meat or land proteins is being more questioned, especially by health. The, the foot of the carbon is higher, so those changes are going to move the consumption into products of the sea, especially the aquaculture has that possibility. And you can see it on that slide, how the aquaculture has been growing. And that tendency will continue. From that point of view, the aquaculture is keep producing and producing each time more to be able to satisfy the increase in demand of, of this kind of food by the population. If we go to the following screen, and here you can see the growth rate of the aquaculture. And we include it in a, in a very accelerated growth. And uh, well, the basic explanation is that when we began, uh, there was a market with a big demand. And since we have been growing, we've been uh, fulfilling that need. But also we have a motor, a very important motor that we are almost losing, and that was the rentability. As you see in the first year, and here we do the reference to 1980, where the difference between demand and, of, and supply was big, the rentability was big. Uh, since we are increasing the offer, the prices go down even if the production prices, they are increasing. They are not stabilized, they increase because the labor increases, the energy increases, the diesel increases, the foods increases. Uh, well, everything increases on prices and related with the 
with the processing every year and our product has been decreasing in value with the time that's what the rentability is getting sure it don't motor we are losing it and that's why we can see that the growth has been decreased to an equilibrium point on what is the offer of the aquaculture product so we go to the next slide And here we can see how it's been increased on the aquaculture. There are three main things, fishes, shellfish, and crustacea. You can see the, how it has increased, and you can see the volume that we have in 2018. This information is published by FAO. The next one, please. This is the case of the uh, seashells, the mollusk, mollusk has been in a constant growth. And we go to the next one, that is crustacea. And in crustacea, I mean, a little bit lower than a fish and shellfish. Um, a little bit more important from the 94, 95 in the production of uh, seafood, crustacea to the levels that we have to 2018. So in this presentation, I want to do it so, so we can see that the future of the aquaculture wishes all oh, keep growing. We have to keep producing. At the beginning, the offer of capture is limited. It won't go through that level, and, and the aquaculture will have to change the demand that is been that will be increasing. And uh, we will go to the next uh, presentation that is from the Sinaloa State. Madame Juan Carolina. Well, we are going to see what the production and the survival on the Sinaloa state. We are in a little summary of what we did in 2019 and how we're doing into 2020. Next one. Well, here is 2019. In 2019, we operated 258 farms, 79,000 hectare cities with a production of 79,000 tons. And there we have it by, as per the different areas that we have on the state. Starting by the North OMA, Wasabi, Tuari, Sangosturo. And this we do it a little bit attached. We have the classification to the sanitary councils because it's through the sanitation council that is the closest source and more really reliable for information. So that's the presentation we are doing it as is in the sanitation council of the states. We go to the next presentation. The next. For 2020, in 2020, we have uh, established 842 farms with 33,000 hectares. And hectares, I want to mention, there is simulate hectares in a a big part of the farms of the farmers, they do a second cycle. Uh, that's why they accumulate uh, that number of uh, hectares. And the real surface is 50,000 hectares, but we, because of the second cycle, we have directly 3,000 hectares on operation. And so far, up to 15 days ago from this report, is about 40,000 hectares. 
and we have a production of 45,000 tons. So the forecast, what we would want it is to get close to last year production. What I wanted to mention is that for Sinaloa this year, we lower the density. Due to the uncertainty that we have by COVID, the closing of restaurants and hotels, that used to represent in Mexico more than 50% of the intake. It was a lot of uncertainty and we decided to reduce the densities. For that reason, the production in Sinaloa might be a little bit below last year, we don't know. We still to wait for the closing, so we gather all the information of the closing of the year. Very good. On this here, we are presenting what is the farms that we are doing in an intensive way on the state. There are not many of them. Here you can see how are they distributed by municipality and the amount of PL that has been uh, see it on the intensive one. On the next one, please. And here, well, we have what we are talking about the exportation. Here we have it at the level of the country is as Mexico has been behaving in 2019, the amount of exported tons and the destination countries. You can see that the country that we have more exportation is to the US, is the natural market to us, especially at north, north and uh, south of the country, California, Texas, Florida, we may reach them in 72 hours. Uh, after a container labor facilities until it reaches our clients, in 72 hours we may have it that give us a competition, competitive advantage. And uh, regardless of the preference of the consumer or what which if he chooses to receive to eat a Mexican shrimp, there are certain segments that in another reason they are more than 30 million Mexicans on the states and there's, there's always a preference by the shrimp of their country of origin. And well, yes, this is how the exportations happen in 2018. We go to the next slide. This is how are we in 2020 in the month of July. As you can see that the main market that we have is the US. The exports were on the first quarter. They were pretty good. The prices were given, were given as, as a space for that. We do not have the fall that we had and the exchange rate was enough for to uh, even up to 25 pesos per dollar. And sometimes we were at 23, the prices were not in the levels that were on the market of the US that allow us to export pretty good on this semester. Now it seems difficult that we may have exportation in the rest of the year or the first semester of 2021. If the prices do not get better and the exchange rate keep around 20 pesos per dollar. Next one, please. This is the evolution of the prices. You can see the prices in uh, 
The prices on the sides of the pond. This is the presentation. And we are increasing the prices very good on the last four months, precisely due to the demand on the national market had increased very good. If it's true that the restaurants were closed and the hotel was also, they have a close up, the alternative ways were very good. The, the housewife was able to go to the supermarket and get the shrimp and that consumption that was not uh, considered, but fortunately it did happen. And the levels of consumption were sustained, even incremented a little bit, reflecting the demand and the prices get better. Next one, please. Well, that will be the presentation from me. Now we will go to the questions afterwards of the presentation. Carlos Hernandez. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you so much. Very interesting. We have uh, really a lot of people, more than 300 people and in some localities. They are, no, they are few people together. They are bombing with questions. It's going to be complicated to do a resume. We will continue to continue with the mechanic that was established. We are going to present Carlos Hernandez, the president of the Association of Colima. Colima is a state that has been participating on the event in the last year. It's time they produce more. They have a production completely different on what is in Sonora, Sinaloa, Nayarit. It's more intensive with water from wells, they reach another market. But Colima is a state that starts to have a production that is very important in the interesting industry. Without further ado, Carlos, please go ahead. Thank you, Marcelo. Good day, good afternoon to you all. I don't have a presentation as such because the data are from everyday data. Colima has more or less 500, 550 hectares of water. And this year, we are, they are not concrete data, we think it's gonna close in 6,000 tons. Uh, last year was about 5,000, 5,500 tons. We are focused 100% on the national market of product, whole product a fresh whole product. Due to the conditions, the con geographic conditions we produce every year, all weeks of the year, we seed shrimp. Every week of the year we are harvesting. That is the way that has been on the last years. Everyone is bringing shrimp. Of, of fresh product. The market that uh, usually uh, we work is uh, Guadalajara, Mexico City, uh, like Mazatlán, Puebla, or in another way, sporadic and in non smaller amounts. Well, the production, we are expecting 6,000 tons. And the survival has been around 60-70%. I think it's been a year, a very interesting year. As well in Sinaloa and Sonora, the production, it was, uh, we could see an increment. It had a lot uh, of effects because of the diseases that we've been here previous year. As per 
the size of the different harvest due to the area that we are in the country they are farms that go to a small stream eight to 12 grams guadalajara and goes to a medium sizes and mexico city received the 17 to 25 grams we almost never go to bigger sizes or in production is intensive and more in the intensive system every year we are experimenting with the new technologies things that they are applied one year successfully sometimes do not work on the next cycle that the control of the on the comparison of the different system of production all is a variable and that we are working on it and well i think that is going to be keep been doing like that and the intensive system we're seeing that is more complicated handling the production and have a competitive course as per the technologies well Colima, since ever for the same nature of the state, and there is a small state uh, that we are working with water sources that were half part of salt, and some farms have even 20 part for salt because they are closer to the coast. But we always have to be in, uh, experimenting to have higher production because the price of the land here is a high price that different than Sonora and Sinaloa. The areas of production of shrimp, they are usually agricultural zones where the price of the land is high. So we have to do a more intensive production so the return on the investment is positive. The hundred percent of the farms, they have aeration, uh, emergency generators, electricity, rebroots, that more than nothing are used to for the acclimatization of the PL when they are received, recirculation, mud pumps, reservoirs, Lately, some of uh, recyclers and each time trying to close the cycle of the water within the farms. As per the COVID, we all the time we try, since we produce every year and in the winter, we are basically the only state that has product we try to to have a great part of the production on those months but with the covid we have complication two months and that came also with a jointly with a quaresma here a season in mexico uh, so the covid the main time of the covid hit on the quaresma the restaurants do not bought the the different farms with live product ready to be produced so that they were not able to commercialize in two months uh, with the form that we operate of all year the flows the different flows they finish up they have the resources to operate to operate one month one month and a half and it has finally we have to ask for different credits especially with providers that sitting were led because we have to go to sizes that we were not contemplated there were different uh, some tanks that they were empties uh, to try to keep the product after two months something happened that it uh, started to reactivate the market we had uh, two three weeks that it reactivated very strongly and that helped us to to let go most part of the production that was causing problems and and, uh, and it took a couple more months to 
uh, get out of different depths with providers and the flows and it reactivated but with this small better price what we expected but nonetheless i think that the year is closing in a positive way as per uh, the perspectives well now on the other two presentations we can see how the market is coming in sonora sonora putting a lot of product to the national market and likewise uh, sinaloa but we can see that the national market is handling well so colima is uh, complicated that it keeps that grow more on the same system of production, especially by the water conditions that the last concession of water was given two years ago, and it's complicated to uh, get water here. The prices is something that we are going to have to, they are never the ones that we, the producers want, but uh, what we have to do is work on the cost. We had a, compli a strong complication since we are in low salinity with the water sources. And it seems that the different phreatic months are changing the pH of the water, the deep wells. They are changing. And we periodically do analysis of the water but we started to have results, very, very bad results in some of the farms. And what we have seen is that, that the minerals have changed and the water has changed a lot. We are working on that. How can we use that water with certain treatments, which increases, of course, the cost. As per the market per testic, there still exists uh, to attack the different places that where we can put the fresh product. We have in the production uh, along the year, but we are aware that maybe in a couple of years we will have to start to. If we do not locate other markets that want the product that we are offering, which is fresh all year, we will have to go into into a processing in and is that is being uh, thinking and preparing to so even to 2020 even with all the problem we had been of the sectors with less affections compared with the hotel industry the entertainment and all that that uh, we may say that we we were uh, we were lucky we could say in general that's the overview on Colima right now. And we finish here for any question. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Very interesting. We have questions from several places. Uh, we can do it directly to the chat because they are receiving from several places. In reality, the question, they, they go around basically I have tried to uh, group them, to group them, and the cost on new technologies, uh, growth on the states and different markets. If you want, we can. You have talked about several of those topics. Maybe we can go a little bit, and the cost on prices what you will expect on this in your state the farms may uh, change the cost on the production because we can see that the price of the shrimp is decreasing worldwide Juan Carlos, well we believe that the cost has been increasing significantly, but they are tools that we have seen that have worked, like uh, the automatic feeders, the lowers, 
and uh, nutrients on their foods, probiotics, etc. Those had helped to have uh, better yields, better survival, and that's a better factor to have an economy to those uh, cultures. We know that basically decrease our prices, it, it will change the, the food is the highest spend that we have. The rest are administrative, managerial, and the proper. Well, um, the density is we cannot do a lot, but yes, we have to focus a lot and the conversion factor. And for that, we are to have, to have, we have to put the feeders, the probiotics, food with better capacities, and that's what, what has been helping us, us here for the kind of production that we are. Well, remember that Sonora, our production are more intensive with a higher cost because most of the producers, we go to big sizes. We don't go to 16, 20, we go 21, 25. And for that efficiency, it must have a very good conversion rate. It means that we make money or lose money this year with the prices that, that I was mentioning. Difference. If now, nowadays we sold that the gain will be very little. We are saving the product and start to sell it in, in January, February to try to recover our cost with cost of current prices. And with the conversion high, basically what was saying, we are losing we are losing the levels of profitability. Our bet is towards that, to seek uh, alternatives to decrease our cost. I will add that yes, the possibility to reduce the cost is do not look like easy or in short term. Nonetheless, we try to decrease the prices. One of the things that happen a lot here at Sinaloa is that we are changing the, the perfil of the food. We lower the density to 10 shrimps in average. Some people put 12, some people put eight. The coastal waters of Sinaloa are rich in productivity that help us. We pay in the lack of oxygen, a lot of productivity, few oxygen, but the use of the density let us have a balance. So the, we are lowering the, the, the perfil of the food. We are using 35 of foreign, 30, 35 percent of protein, and that protein not necessarily is in fish meal or calamar flour, but uh, we are going to those floors that they come from vegetables, soy, and they are proof from the protein of uh, some insects. So everything, everyone is working on the composition of the food to decrease the price, and they are two, three pesos, that helps. The other thing that uh, is in the fuel, in Sinaloa, we use a lot of diesel. We don't have electricity energy. We are very limited. Very few of them have uh, energy, electricity. And the diesel that we are forcing to become importers, but right now the imported diesel can be about four or five pesos lower than the diesel sold by Pemex. Unanticipated pests and consolidated buys. But the fuel, we are being able to lower to four or five pesos per fuel, and that, that helps. And the other one is the conversion ratio. It all has to do with the uh, with a different kind of uh, breeds so that they have on the laboratories to have better conversions because the production here, the same synthesis, 
57 that we spend uh, of every peso is food. So we have to be very careful and the handling of the cost. So that's also an alternative, but we don't, don't wait for uh, miracles by itself. I think that is more important than to handle or uh, I don't, I think that we don't know how to use or better strange and that drop the price and the final consumer still pays the same for or for the price. Now the, the rentability is being lost and well, uh, the final produce consumer pays the same. So we have to handle or offer, being able to negotiate or offer. I think that for Ecuador, they were even then had not been able, and they've been decreasing the international prices. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that that's so Carlos. That rentability should go by keeping low cost, and we are reaching levels that that are going to be able to difficult to change, and another was to have a better income better access to the market. You can say something, Carlos. In Colima, you talk about the cost. But... Yes, definitely. What we have seen is that the uh, handling has a lot to do with, uh, with, with different things. We see examples of producers that they are focus in the conversion ratio and that they bring numbers and costs very different to the average. I think that of course we all agree the foods, the laboratory have to do the work very good and the farmer have to work very good to lower the price of the production. We are doing several farms uh, test with automatic physics. We've been working in some ten to three years. You have to learn. It's not just like put them, uh, to just to put them and drop the food. No, you have to tune up because otherwise it increases the price, the expense that you do. And well, we have uh, been able to reduce. Uh, a reduction in some pesos handling in some rates per area and where we use the electricity at a certain times you, do, you use the minimum of energy and help a lot also to to mitigate but the food the food is the main cost but personally i believe that there is a rank there that is responsibility of the producer in the handling of the culture where there is an important area of improving efficiency to be done, but it's not easy to reach that point. Very good. Well, when we see what's going on with this uh, pandemic, how it has changed the market, we speak directly to reach directly or beyond the supply chain and some questions talk about that. How do we think that we may think to go further to the final consumer? And how can we do uh, to not see the neighbor as a competitor and being able to position in the strip in Mexico and afterwards in the States? I don't to be able to do it shorter, that change. Well, last year it was mentioned that in the same meeting that we were creating a council of the Mexican Council in, in the US that we've been working for a year. Nowadays, I can tell you that uh, it's, uh, it's already been placed. We started to work. We are on the definition of the company that we are going to hire to start to do a projection and a publicity in the US for three years. The firm that is closest to be signed up is the same firm that represented the avocado people in the U.S. 
have here from Mexico. And our idea is precisely create that brand to reinforce what existed before the Mexican soil, and moreover, to create a brand with the seal that we are giving and providing to all of those who are within the council that identify the strip. And what does that mean? That means that from the farms, that they have to be certified and labor, ecological, environmental, sanitation, labs, uh, farms, packing places uh, to give that to that uh, added value and be able to have that brand that now there's a lot of food service that is still looking at the product and a lot of chefs that like the Mexican shrimp. There are lots of letters in the, in the menu Mexican shrimp and that sell have additional price that we have to keep looking for. On the other hand, as I mentioned in my presentation, we have to understand and we have to take advantage that is in this pandemic, a uh, consumption open in the US that did not exist. The housewife was very few the consumption that they had. I was with the eat in restaurant. It was in food service and then we, they realized that they were able to put it and cook it at home from frozen. It. We have to look on the last market because the sales increases a lot, but that's that it does the thing. If you don't have a certified farm, if you don't have a plant with certain specifications, you cannot go into certain markets or certain supermarkets that they give you a plus on the price. And that's it, uh, what we have to look for and what we are focusing Severa producers in Sonora, where this year we get uh, three or four producers certi additional certification to be able to reach those markets. That's also a vision or a strategy. And we believe that we have to work there. And in Mexico in general, as uh, I see the Antal, they say how much, how much stream was sold before and how much is sold right now. That's another opportunity here. There, here in Mexico, there are so many certifications, but you have to do a different model. You have to have a certain packaging. You have to cook it, to sell in bag, different presentations. But that's what is going to do the differentiation between lower or cost with efficiency and increase, on the other hand, the prices to be able to uh, increase the margin because if we just focus in lower cost, but we want to see it the same, uh, this is not going to work. There are two different ways. Lower the cost and find additional markets that give us different prices to be able to seek the rentability that we want. Very interesting. When uh, you see other industry, we are going to have the case of the of the exporters of avocado is something that is very interesting how they join all the producers, not just from Mexico, but other countries to position the avocado in the US market. And it was broke the myth or tendency that the more production less price because they have produced a lot, lot more and the price keep growing. And see, you see, Marcelo, this a point of getting together. For us, this first year, the last year, for each pound that we export or stream, we are giving a resource to that council. A lot of the, they say, hey, we are going to give a benefit to all of them. But because we are not saying the farm of, the, of this farm, we are saying Mexican stream. Uh, yes, but if we don't all agree with first the egg of the chicken, so we have to go in and the other thing that we say as well, yes, if you don't are not part of the concept, you won't have this differentiation seal and there's going to be a market that those 
kudon do have that seal they're gonna they're gonna add a value so we started to add some resources to be able to hire those companies because those companies are expensive they are not cheap and they are not one year they are three to five years the programs it was a hundred of thousands of dollars that we have to invest to position the mexican stream in the u.s Yes, it's an effort that it costs a lot, but eventually it's going to bring more. See in the example of the Volcano, the colleagues, they tell us that they joined two or three of the big ones and started to promote, and afterwards, more and more joined, and there, there's people who benefit themselves and they don't participate at the beginning, but the industry went ahead and everyone participated in Mexico. If we see the statistic of last year, just a work required statistic of an exportation. We export more our required in general than raw, that oil. When someone speak about Mexico, we export agropecuarias more than oil. And that part of the aquaculture and the fishing has a superavit of over $300 million. So yes, we are a sector talking about the fishing and aquaculture, very interesting. Uh, how do you see the part of uh, uh, generate brands on the national market, Carlos Hernandez is something Yes, we have to work towards that. I especially have a brand. My company have a registered mark. And we have to differentiate. And let's go beyond uh, being a simple commodity. We have to work and find the markets. Yes, we have to be working in processing with a specific characteristic for the market that we are going. This is in the packaging in general. And also to reinforce it with uh, pay that in general, there's, there's people that have uh, personal brands that they are registered, but, but the collective effort we have to do it to the foreign to position in the Mexican stream as a, as a brand, bringing out of the, uh, position it as a, as a specific line of stream. And in the intern, well, we have to work that and in work those spaces in the market. Yes, they're not friendly. And the more if we, what we, we short exchange and get to the consumer or closer to the consumer, the brand becomes a topic, an important topic more if we want to reach those markets. And maybe brands by Farmon in general position it here in Mexico. Well, I think that for Mexico, it's one well, to develop our own brand. A collective brand for Mexico, I don't see I don't see it. It will have a brand of each one. What it can do is that we join several groups, a certain number of producers, generate, and those are for the world that they don't have it. Those that we wanted, we have to make it strong. We have years in the market, and we've been putting the brand and a specific uh, and with making some prestige. So that's a language that we have to have. But those who doesn't have is to join together and have their own brand and start to find their place in the market. And the market, make it grow as you can see the aquaculture. Well, the, the aquaculture is going to continue existing. It has an horizon, a very good horizon in the future. On the as food for the humans, the marine protein is uh, requested more and more, and it depends on the aquaculture. But we have to learn. It's other thing that we have learned. We came from uh, a market with huge demand that we did not need to sell, and some people just do it. Uh, 20, 20 years ago, they they asked us and begged us to buy us, and now we have to learn how to sell. And the, change, the time change, 
we are making an equilibrium with the offer and the demand and we have to learn what we didn't know to know at the beginning now is how to administer our offer and have a capacity for negotiation what has had happened is that uh, as i mentioned uh, another chain of the of the had increasing other parts of the chain increasing the rentability at our cost. Last remark on Colima well here, what we have seen that had worked for the same presses that we have in the market, in the fresh market, is that you start to see and start to make a name, Colima Shrimp, Colima Shrimp, those who are in the fresh market are every year, but we have seen that the work of each producer as per the quality and presentation, they achieve an important differentiation on the price. They are producers that sell all year long above the rest. But it has to do with the work selling that on that price above the rest and the quality and the work and the, and the service that they provide to the client and more than nothing, uh, how do they stay on the market that is something that not all the farms have been able to uh, reach to have um, product all the time to be able to ha be harvested but we but yes the differentiation call it a brand or knowing or, or recognition of the producer it can bring income more interesting income on that's why we have been uh, working yes totally the time is coming there are several topics that um, that they are interesting. In other years on these forums, we talk basically of the diseases. It seems like the topic now is more on the marketing and the production. It comes to a certain maturity, or at least it looks like that. People do not worry as much they are not questioning so much as in the diseases as before. And the uh, topic here, to have another one, they say what we are doing from the point of view of sustainability to promote an industry that is sustainable at the medium and long term. And another one is if we see growth on our states in Sinaloa, Sonora, and Colima, and the short and long term, if the industry is going to be growing and how it's going to be growing, those will be the bulk of the questions. If we can review, what do you think of the diseases? If they are more or less under control and the increase on those states. Well, we are at an impasse right now in Mexico uh, after the early mortality of 2013. Well, there's nothing that's a big, big emergency. And from the farmers and the different and the production of PL that is being getting better to create resistance. And the farmer has accumulated experience on the handling of his plants. So that's why the survival, uh, they are uh, 51 against 61. We are around 63 in Colima. Uh, they are around 80% on the intensive. They are not changing a lot of survival. We are not getting more than this. We, we do not lose. 
and that part is why we are not handling with a lot of relevance. You have to be careful anyway. Problems will come, that's for sure. There will become more diseases and we have to be aware and checking constantly for that. That's in the part of the season sustainability. I believe that we are the aquaculture is the less uh, carbon food lives on the animal protein. And we will improve every time we will do better or handling to control or feeding, which is the, that uh, is the, that can have a contamination or change in the environment comes from the foods. If we have excess, if the hisses of the stream and not, is not uh, discarded rapidly, the water, we try to use less exchange of water on the volumes. I believe that we will reduce the carbon print. Uh, another thing that was is uh, cutting the mangrove. And no, that's a myth. Uh, every time we generate more mangrove, uh, we, what is called a coastal lagoon or in front of the coast, they take the water and the uh, creation of different currents as minimum. But the mangrove is a history, is more a myth now than a reality. And the increase of the surface, they are not a lot of land to be susceptible, at least and seen a lot to be able to grow with the production of stream. So, yes, it's going to be increasing on technology. And, uh, basically, those were the questions. That will, that will be my opinion on those topics. In this year in Colima, we had some problems with the disease that we have never seen. It happens only in just a few farms and a few pounds of high levels for the highs of flaccid shrimp that was not able to put it to the market. We have seen one or two organisms in the sampling, but in the summertime there comes a time where it was lost a lot of production due to that. We are working on the subject to see and how to uh, attack it because it came as a surprise and it hit pretty hard at levels of 50% of population, a very, very soft, very soft the touch and one wasn't able to recover and in sustainability. I believe that we have, and we have seen it here, a lot of water exchange areas of the farm that I use for, just for uh, exchange. We are focusing on that, to the discharges on that, because each time more is going to be problem for the aquaculture producer that matter. There's a lot of attack for uh, ignorance about the mangrove, a lot of them are hits, but I believe that the, as the producers go ahead and we are solving that kind of uh, potential critics, we are going to be able to make it more sustainable long term. That's my opinion. I believe that in the sustainability, we have a great problem that we've been attacking and it doesn't affect Sonora, but the whole string is the upper part of the Gulf, upper, upper Gulf with the Baquita Marina has become a problem that is not a problem because we are out of the ocean on which a lot of boats 
la de Congo de Erba de Artur, Twist, Sus, la Truda, Swing Council. We've been following them up because there's a lot of pressure by certain environmental groups that the Mexican strip is close. Come from where it comes, come from Sonora, Sinaloa, Colima, closet, and the same to the sea, but aquaculture. We've been observing uh, possibilities to get certain certificates from the US, seeing a protection toward the future where we can start to certify that aquaculture we do not participate and have no and involvement on that kind of things because each time the pressures are stronger from the environmental groups on the topic about the fishing and the aquaculture and we don't have to keep a line and we have to pay attention to it we understand that what we are returning to the seat has nothing nothing bad at the products that we bring things that help and are beneficial to the sea. But the problem is there. We have to keep an eye on it and do something about it. We saw in the boats that the tuna problem, all the, all the fishing boats, they have a person, a representative that is observing that the fishing is legal, they, they, they are not acting bad because it was almost almost closing that market in the US. We have to understand that those environmental pressures are going that way and we have to act. And the growth in Sonora, we have an area more than north side of the state, but there is a possible growth. The south in the central or even to Hermosillo. It's been very exploited, but there's a part in the north of the state, and then on the, there's a state in Caborca, etc. But what I see more than that is the current situation. A government that do not help, a government that is trying to sign uh, commercial treatment with Ecuador, but is not respecting the, the state of rights. Who wants to invest in aquaculture and anything else? The growth of the aquaculture in the state, I see it focusing to those topics. And, uh, a topic of what we are living in Mexico nowadays and the uh, safety and support that we need to grow. If you look to Conapesca, but well, what support? The little thing that was left, they remove it the diesel, the PLs, there is not any benefit other than that. I believe that they are not observing the part that really are, we are making them employment that we are making the quality of those, the monies that we are spreading in those areas. And that is translated as business person of the aquaculture. It's a yellow light that should I go or should I stay? That will be for me those two topics. Totally agree. The part, the market is asking more sustainable products. It's going to lead us into that point. And, uh, and we have as an industry a great advantage and the uh, fishing shrimp and we have to make it value or shrimp does have a lot of value environmental value that's it uh, and uh, really we have an industry with the news basically antibiotics from several years ago and 70 percent of the foods years ago came with antibiotics now it's very scarce we have better practices and it has to make it to make it a value. Next, tomorrow we'll see the production of stream through the mother cells. Uh, those are technologies that they are coming on the market. They are going to distinguish those stream. So we have to position the Mexican stream as a sustainable product and differentiate from others. Very good. In reality, those are the questions. We come to the almost at the end. We have overpassed five minutes. 
I would like to go around with the speakers. Any final recommendation and uh, say goodbye to the panel. If you want to have a last situation, something. Yes, I would like Marcelo. We also have seen that it's been complicated for the insecurity. I believe that we are worse than years ago, and obviously that uh, decreases the investment and the growth because it's not clear. Uh, all the programs that for many well, they simply disappear. I remember 12, 15 years we say there has to be programs that for the production like the cultural or the cattle and there were not. That should be, I believe, uh, the government and get a hand on those issues. And I agree with Juan that the environmental. The market is towards that, yes. And, uh, yes, the, the trazability, we could say there are several certified houses, BAP, or La Culture, or ACC. And uh, each time we are asked more and more that traceability. We are very close to be able to say, if this shrink come from this pound, this farm, this use of this food, and that's where we are going to have to be, to give certainty to the market of what is being requested, that we are each time more uh, sure about the inequity of our foods. Marcelo, just thank you for the opportunity and the participation on the two topics that we see a lot, the topic of being more efficient and the cost that we could talk in technology. We are very clear in those numbers, what happened when we use feeders, when we use a better quality food from another that is not that good. At the end of the day, that comes on one side on a saving because you lower your price of conversion and increases your production. And on the other hand, look for new market, new alternatives to, to be able to reach more direct markets and not the traditionals. So if we are online working on those two open new markets and lower our cost, I believe that that's the task that we should give one of us to in each one of us in our different areas or projects, because they are different projects, market, different markets. But at the end, I believe that we all have part of the market to have different alternatives and decrease production cost. That will be for me the basic, the topic of the diseases. We cannot, uh, we have to keep an eye on them for new diseases that may come. We cannot just say, hey, next year we are going to have the same or better survivals. We are in a business where we produce with water from the ocean, and that changes every year. What we have kept doing is to be better from the PL and then the systems that we have on the production, because that's something that we cannot uh, make sure that it won't be happening in nothing else. But we are working and moving forward, and that's the way that we have to keep an eye on it. Very clear, Juan, you are completely sure the labs have done a good work. If they have a restraint more resistant, but there's no lower or guard. 
Carlos, let us know that you can go with that uh, Seattle in Mazatlán with Dr. Sonia for the for that uh, flaccid or that soft stream. But definitely the part of the diseases, if it's not a topic, we cannot lower the car. It's always a topic of culture. Yes. It's a... Uh, through the years, the survival increases and then we decrease our, our guard and increases and the, the nodes that we have in the several aspects, we have to keep them. We have an activity that depends on the weather this year, except in Sonora was being very dry and hot at the beginning of the hill, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be the same. And well, Carlos, anything to close up his in law? Thank you for the, the opportunity to participate. And and I repeat what Alonso you say uh, the government is absent. There was a particip limited participation with some programs that has to do with uh, con support to certain segments of the production, but now the government is absent in the, that it's a bad influence. The, is, the state has a lot to do with that the economic activity is done or supported or let it go. We are on our own right now. The rest is perfect. It's been already been said. Thank you the opportunity to be here. I said thank you to Carlos Hernandez, to Juan Alonso, thank you and well. We will be ready for the next one. Well, colleagues, thank you very much. This forum always caused a lot of interest. This time has not been deception. More into the marketing and uh, it's a very nice labor and enrich this event. We event that the next year we are able to be present in person and we achieve uh, through everything to handle the technology very good and I think that it went good. Everything went all right. Well, let's take these technologies. I invite you to, this is the first day with this close and it's going to be two, three hours a day tomorrow with new technologies and then Thursday and Friday of production and the production at the end, the new technologies, new productions. They are done in different countries and here in Mexico. Without further ado, thank you so much. Carolina, our director of camera, thank you for doing the video and we close today. That is very intense and very interesting. We thank you your participation for the day of participation. Hoping that it was nice to you and of help of the different panels on meditation, perspective and situation and the culture that we have presented. We wish you that tomorrow, Wednesday, December 2, likewise, you are here in this Kunako 2020.